Okay, guys. So, um, I checked my materials, so it looks like I didn't lose anything. It did cost, it did take up the cost, but it did give me the materials. So, we're good with that. <laughs> okay, so now, so this right here, the defense training, the defense training is what basically gives your skills. It'll give you materials so you can level up your your unit skills to um you know max level and stuff like that um the attack training the attack training is what you use to give your units more um exp and that helps rank them up now the anti-training the anti-training is their function helps to increase the stars that your units have and in order to be able to fully level up your, your unit skills these stars have to be maxed out so if you want if you want the max level uh, level five in skill you need to have this the stars maxed first you got to have six stars so as you progress um a lot further you'll be able to unlock more accessories for the unit see gotta limit break them and limited and limit breaking them is this see what it costs like 30 now I just want to let you guys aware be aware of that later on probably in September I, I think that it's, it's gonna be in September or maybe you know uh, a month or two they're going to add a new feature which completely changes this type of level system so it, it's going to end up like basically where you have like let's say all right you got the counter one but if you go to a soldier they have a different one so let me show you um first it's a soldier see they have a blue one well after this after this update when uh, whenever it, it releases everybody's going to be sharing the same um a the apt course and the s apt course they're going to be sharing the same thing the same resources so you're going to have to be a little bit more tactful on what you want or what units you want to level up first Okay, so let's continue with the simulations. It's taking a while to load. <laughs> Hopefully Yang doesn't freeze the game. <laughs> Again. Ooh, okay. So this is a much tougher one. So we did lose that one. Will they let me... Oh, they will. Okay, so they'll let me do it again. Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Because I, I actually... Because uh, we did get Seoyu. So what I'm going to do now... I'm going to go get my other SSR unit. The one that I could select. So I got a Seoyu. And I ended up getting a Yang. 
which is amazing. And I did get I did get Eins. <clears throat> so the next unit that I'm going to go for... Oh, this is another interesting unit. It's a pretty good healer. However, I'm going to get Chinatsu instead. Why am I getting Chinatsu? Because... She is either one of, if not... If not the uh, best healer in the game so she's definitely one of the best and especially but as a rearm once you rearm her she is one of the best healers in the game it's always nice to have a support like this on your team <laughs> Oh, they give you the purple ticket too, right? Who, who do they give in this one? Oh, fantastic. Okay. So, when you get the testimonial ticket, what I would go for as a new play... Oh, oh, okay, I see. So, it's random. And you know what's funny? It ended up giving me the unit that I wanted. <laughs> The unit that I was gunning for. Okay, so if any pot, any way possible, now there is a way you can farm this unit. I would suggest that you get this unit as a beginning, and to have her be a part of your team. Why? Because when you summon her, she gives you she uh, instantly restores plus one of the deployment resources. However, if you level this up, you get a plus one, so that's plus two. You get more cost when you um you get two cost when you summon her two cost resources now when she uses her ultimate if you can max that out she can give you not you know she can give you four if you level it up to five so when she uses her ultimate she gives you four cost and that can help you dish out like that can help you um deploy a lot of uh the higher level units the higher cost units a lot faster Yeah, I'm definitely putting her on my team. Okay, so we're going to the growth again. Go here. So now we're going to start leveling up units. Before I do that, we're going to replace Yujin with Chinatsu. Then we're going to replace this unit. With Lin Zen. Now, there are some SR units that are pretty, like, they're pretty good. Hence this character here. If you give them uh, a lot of, uh, was it the attack speed? They could dish out a lot of damage. <clears throat> okay, so this is good. So what we're going to do is again, we don't have a lot of resources here. So let's try this out. Oh, nice! We got fifty percent off right now. So let's do this a little bit all right level 30 so we'll make her as a level 30 get yang up to at least level 30 let's see if i do it if i get up to 40 can i get them to 40 yes okay this is good because um Oh, okay, so it's taking up a lot. Okay, so I can't get them up to level. Okay, that's fine. So what you want to do is like at least get them to level 30 or maybe even 35. It takes 21 to get them to 35. Hmm. 
You know what? I'll keep it at 30. <laughs> Just to be safe. Okay, so I would start by leveling them, leveling them up first. Chinatsu. We're definitely going to get her up there. Just gonna give her a little bit more points. Okay, so if you can get your units up to level 30, the ones that you want to uh, level up. So, so when you choose your first units that you're going to use, like choose the first units that you're going to, the first eight units that you're going to use that you plan to max out first. <coughs> because that team is going to be what's going to carry you through the game. So this will be like your first personal team. Okay, level 30. Okay. I'm gonna use Ainz, because they're definitely gonna start carrying us more on these missions. Okay. I go for the SRs first. Okay. Now I'll go for the, the support again. Nice. Okay, level 30. Okay, let's see if I can get this last unit to level 30. I don't know why I keep selecting that. Uh, okay, I don't have enough. That's okay. Oh, we got a great success. Nice. Okay, so I got all of them up to level 30. <clears throat> this is ideally what you want to try and go for. If, you, if you're very low on resources, just... You know, be a little tactical with it, you know, so just do a little bit of strategy, but have a goal in mind, like, you know, keep them around at level 30, and then you just start to progressively increase them over time, which this one's going to be. So, like I said before, you want to get Yang and your Awaken unit up there first, start showing them a little bit of love, and then if you can progressively increase these units a little bit more too to a certain number that you want to get that you can all that you can also do that too you know get feel free to try that <clears throat> see I'm starting to get more here okay let's try this out Okay, things are getting a little bit better. Ooh, it's cutting it close. Well, we're getting there. Easy. Here we go. Tadu, Sugumanata, Miku is a so. 
See? And it gives you some materials. Alright, let's start this one. And don't feel discouraged too, like, you know, if if you're coming across a, a stage that's just, it's a little just too strong for, at the moment, then that's fine. You know, you could always go back to it and then you could always go down a level. Go always, yeah, you could always go down a level and you can just um, start farming from there until your units are strong enough to start tackling the higher level content. Again, remember, this game is a marathon. Oh, that was fast. Okay, let's try this one. This might be a lot. This one might be a lot harder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch leadership. Okay, hold on. I think I can... I wonder if I can get another ship. Let's see if I can get another ship. Do they give us one during the Annie site login? I wonder. Okay, they give us an operator. Oh, yes, they do. Right here. And it's selector. Okay, this is selector. So, what I'll say this to, uh, I'll say this here. When, when, it, when, ever you reach this, this day, and you get the Annie ship, what I would recommend you do is you could choose the Enterprise. The Enterprise all around is a good ship, both in PvP and PvE. This can this can help you out a lot. And honestly, I would save if you can't like if you can't make it past the game without leveling up the ship that you have right now, then you know feel free to level it up just by a little bit just just enough so you can get so you can progress through the story because what you want to do is you want to collect as much resources as you can so you can level up your ssr ships you want to get those up and online first but if you can't do that then that, that's okay you know you could just you could always upgrade the ship that you have now just by a little bit just enough for you to get more materials and progress a little further also too with the counter pass so this this account here is a free it's completely free to play however you can um, do these daily missions and they will still give you some stuff on the free normal plan so always do these every day because you don't have you don't necessarily have to buy any points just to reach level 50 you just gotta sign in every day and just naturally play the game and to complete these six dailies each day as you naturally do this and you naturally play the game you're automatically completing stuff here by the time you're finished you'll probably end up with like eight out of ten just by not thinking about it so it is possible Oh, I don't have any of these. Okay. Again, um, also too, if some of these things look a little bit confusing, um, I do have, I will have um, two of the other videos that I had created before on how to succeed on Counterside. It's um, going to be in the 
description. So I'll put the links in the description of this video. Okay, so we got the missions done. And watch, they're just going to keep giving us rewards and we're going to keep ranking up. Okay, do the weeklies. See, the game just, it just throws, at, like, just nothing but rewards at you. Okay, go into the guide missions now. See that? They just give you a whole bunch of rewards. What's this one? New CEO coupon. Oh, nice. Look at that. And we got another free ticket. Oh, yeah, that's right. They give us a free sale yoon in this one. Look at that. We got a second unit. So we got to recruit one unit. Okay, so we literally have to uh, roll, right? Oh yeah, and then since too we started the anniversary, they they've given us a free set of 150 pulls, so that's a cool one too. So I'm gonna do that. Let's summon some more. Nice. After after these rolls, I'll also tell you about what to do with the extra copies. Oh, we got a robot. Who we get this time? Ooh, okay. Got Lambda. Okay, we could do something with that early on. Nice. You see, this game pretty generous in giving you a whole set of units. Nice, another copy. Another robot. Claudia Nelson. Chubang Dandang Nikuris. Jolyagul Dai Putabul Sang. Claudia Nelson. Sinchang Kaunta Hirose. Oh, okay. Another new unit. Karin Wong. Nice. Okay, so we got ourselves a. A sniper. Not bad at all. Oh, look at that. They, they've given us four more. So again, so they've given us four, right? So that means that when it if the next day it resets, it's going to stay at that limit. Oh, we got another Aria Solo. So now we got another free SSR selector. This is amazing. Okay, so we got to finish. We have to finish this story line right here. Okay. So as you can see, they've given you a lot of methods to do this. And look, there's another free SSR ticket as a new CEO. So that means that the, the units that you that I was recommending, you can easily get those units. Easily. With no problem at all. You can get Yang, Gayun, Shifuyu, Sky Layfield, and Shinatsu with these tickets. 
and then after after you get those units you could pretty you pretty much can get any other units that you want that you that you think of what your account needs or what units that you like but these units can carry you through the majority of the content now obviously there's gonna you know there are more units that can do a little a few things a little bit better than some units but you know it, it's all up to, at that point it's just all up to you and what you think you know what you think that your account your account would need having a good having a good striker a good um support a good tank having at least one of each of the the types can um can lead you pretty far in this game I wonder if I should do that one too. Okay, so let's go into here. Now, another thing which you guys could do, since this is the anniversary, you could just save those tickets, the one that's a selector, and you can save them up until you get the randomizer. There we go. Um, like this, like, you know, if you get things like this, maybe it'd be good to activate these first because maybe you'll get the unit that you were gunning for, you know? So next day, you see that they have another new one that's out here. And it gives you the same amount of units randomized. So there's, there is a chance that you could get the unit that you're trying to look for with the selector. But it's completely up to you. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But me, in this case, I'm going to immediately choose it because there's a unit that I want. And this time it's going to be Shifuyu. So we got, we got Yang. And we got Chinatsu. We would need to get Sky. And we have to get Nanahara Shifuyu. You know what? Before I do that, I want to make sure on something. This ticket, does it, does it give? Yep, it gives Sky. Okay, so Sky Layfield is in, in this ticket. And she's in this ticket too. Okay, no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to get Shifuyu. You pretty much could get all the <laughs> you pretty much could get all the, the recommended units. This is this is amazing. Where are you? Oh, okay. There we go. Shifuyu. Uh-oh. And it'll appear again in three, two, one. 